ways has repercussions for us all. We must show solidarity with the Greek people. Hence why I've got my uh, Greek flag out to uh, show uh, solidarity uh, with the Greek people. And we can't blame the Greek people, but we can blame the Greek government and the EU as well. The Eurozone was never going to work. Forcing northern country, strong northern rich economies to merge with southern poor European economies to, um, into one socialist utopia for a country was never going to work. And Greece could soon find itself outside of the Eurozone. Interestingly enough, I think the drachma, Greece did very well economically. But after you're on the Eurozone, Greece's tourism levels started to decline. But even though the tourist revenue went down, the government still spent billions of pounds of money that it did not actually have. That's a, that's a job of the socialist government. They always like to spend more than uh, they bring in. And the whole point of a government is delivering surplus. And if for yourself, if you take out loads of credit cards and then use more credit cards to actually pay them off, you're going to end up in a short amount of time bankrupt. And that's exactly what's happening to Greece. But what's made it worse for the Greeks is the uh, joining of the Eurozone. I believe that pulling out the Eurozone would be painful in the short term, but in the long term, Greece will be able to survive economically with the drachma. Tourism will predictably shoot up to pre-2001 levels, which would mean the Greek economy will be strong, there will be hard uh, foreign strong currency coming to Greece, which would mean that the uh, Greek markets will revive. And the Greek governments need to get away from the socialist attitude of um, not worrying about the debt section, not worrying about paying for debts. They need to, what they should do is return to the drachma, and um, that would slash prices for tourists. Tourists would come back in droves uh, to Greece. Because while being the Eurozone, the money supply is not controlled by Athens. The money supply is controlled by the EU. And the ECB is just printing money. And it just reminds me of that film I saw with Iggy Amin in Uganda, who just got, his, he actually bankrupted Uganda, and he just went into the governor's office, and he just said to the, the bloke, print more, oh, print more, print more. You can't just print money. And that just causes massive, that causes massive hyperinflation. And eventually causes a crash, which, what happened in, why 2008 happened. And what, and the main reason why they, there was a 1929 uh, Wall Street crash. Because there was too much money being printed and people were just get spending like crazy. Uh, getting uh, lots of loans and credit cards, etc. The American economy, of course, is fueled uh, by a credit boom. Even after 2008, people haven't learned their lesson. People are still using credit cards, uh, mortgages, etc. But going back to Greece, I believe that I first off the Greeks. And there's one bloke on Channel 4 News who say, I've, I've been working 40, 40 years of my life. I saved hard, and now I can't actually go to your bank with your money. It's my money. Can you imagine that? If you've been working all your life, and not be able to withdraw your own money, or see it disappear, like in Cyprus. The Cypriot government just literally raided people's savings. It's criminal. And Greece, until there was tourism in Greece, Greece was a backwater in uh, Europe. And 
It was Paul. Paul in Romania. Uh, uh, before the uh, 1990s. And so uh, from uh, and killed the early 80s. Killed the uh, early 80s. Greece was actually Paul in Romania. Because tourism only started to pick up in the 80s. And with tourism going down rock bottom, Greece could find itself in real trouble. And if Greece could folks, people think, oh, because Greece got a drag, but who cares, etc. Who cares if it goes bankrupt? But that could have repercussions across Europe. And other EU countries might think of actually defaulting. But I think five years down the line, with Greece being out of the Eurozone, the other seven European countries will be looking at Greece and thinking, I want to pay for that. I want to revive my tourist industry. I want to get a stronger economy. And by doing that, we need to have our own currency. We need to control our own financial institutions. We need to get our sovereignty back. And places like Italy, Spain and Portugal We'll probably do that. And Ireland, I think Ireland will most likely go back to Japan. Ireland was known as the Celtic Tiger in 2008. And basically, I think if Ireland went back to Japan, it would actually be a lot stronger. The Eurozone has just ruined people's lives and life things. But it's also down to your socialist governments as well. And it's down to the EU, Utopia, of actually giving them. Because what's happening in Greece is that they they max out the credit card, but they're actually, they're actually borrowing more money to pay off the pay off the debts. They weren't paying for the debts; they were just buying more money to actually pay down other to pay down the other debts. See what I'm and when. When people actually start to go out and when they can't get money for food, etc., they're right. And Greece has always had many rights. 